summertime and the living is easy with a great tote bag, of course. One thing we know for sure and about me is that my weakness is handbags. And yeah, that's that's the long short of it. I love handbags. Fashion blogger Dawn Parsons rounded up a fab collection of the latest summer totes and handbags. Check it out. Mine, by the way, weakness are handbags. So what are all these beautiful bags you've got here? So I've got some great ones. I've got some summer totes and then I've got some handbags. So maybe we can start with the summer totes. Of course. So these happen to be three of my favorites. One really exciting thing about all of these is they're from small women owned businesses, which is a really fun thing. Yeah. Uh, start here with one of my favorites. This oh, is actually it. from Soli and Sun, which is a company right here in Sammamish. I know Claire is the owner and designer, and then she works with craftsmen in the Philippines to create these amazing bags. What does it look like inside? It's just open. So it's got oh, okay. And then there's a front pocket right here on the front. And this is a real like denim blue color. Yeah, but no lip pencils in there because you might lose them. You might lose them. You need to put a little pouch inside. <laughs> that just means more bags are my bag. That's right. Um. <laughs> And then next up is this tote. This is from a brand called Quilted Koala. They make amazing totes that you can personalize. This one happens to have fun little mirror tiles on the front and the back, which make it really reflective and fun. It's lightweight, really big. And then you can get fun tassels to just put on the front and add some color to them. And then next up is this tote. This is from Social Threads. It's made out of neoprene. So oh, it's a really fun bag to take to the park. You can throw your kid stuff in here to the beach. It opens on the side, so it makes it just a little bit bigger. Neoprene, it's interesting because it's like a foamy kind of lightweight substance, right? Yes, very much so. And then it has a braided corded handle here. So ah. it's a really great like gym bag as well. It'd be a great gym bag. Let's talk about the cute little handbags you have there. I love that black one. It's like a circle with, but just, oh, yes. it's beautiful. Summer is the perfect time to use a really cute handbag. You can mm -hmm. wear a cute sundress and some shorts and then use a really cute bag. So this one actually is from Target. It's made of raffia, just a little circle bag. It's very structured as well. Again, you might want a little pouch inside. Mm -hmm. A lot of these have open weaves, so you don't want anything to fall out. These two happen to be from Amazon. This bag was around in the 80s. Yeah, I remember it. I had to rebuy it. <laughs> I love this bag. It's got a great top handle. This just looks really chic. If you're just wearing a little black sundress and you're carrying this, it is just a really, really great look. This one, very fun. This is actually made out of loose sight. I love it. It's so fun. What's great about this bag is when you open it up, it actually folds back on itself. Oh. It is the perfect travel bag. You put this in your suitcase, right? It's like it doesn't even exist once it's in your closet. Nope. You get to your destination and you take it out to dinner. It's perfect. I'm going to need you to send me that link immediately. Okay, it's so good. This bag is so fun. This is actually from Walmart. It's under $30 and it is a really fun take on a carpet bag. Okay. I can't even focus. I got to go on the website and find it. It's so good. It has really fun, you know, just pastel rainbow stripes. It also comes in a, just a plain neutral, if that's more your vibe. But I thought this one was really fun with the bamboo handles. And then for, you know, the woman who maybe is a little more traditional, a little more neutral, these are some really great bags. These are from Liz Claiborne at JCPenney. And this one is just a crossbody. And then this one is a tote with gold hardware. But what makes these feel like summer is they've got this raffia here on the front. So a little bit of texture. That little set right there just screams vacation. Like you have the crossbody and then the tote for your magazine as you're, you know, heading to the pool. Yeah, exactly. What are some of the trends you're seeing? The trends, I would say lots of rattan, wicker, raffia type bags, lots of straw bags. I was just in Target yesterday. There's lots of that. There's also a lot of crochet bags. So a lot of this kind of bag with a wood handle are really popular right now. You're such a classy lady. You're the perfect person to ask this question. What are the things when it comes to purses that we should invest money in? And what are the ones that we can just buy for fun? To me, these are fun bags. These are great bags to just not spend a ton of money on. It, you know, you might not want to carry this bag a couple summers from now, 
But I think a really great tote that's a classic, this is beautiful. This would be around for years. You'll always carry a neutral tote like this, mm -hmm. definitely worth investing money in. And then maybe just more of a neutral bag yeah. that you could carry year round so you don't feel like you only invested in a bag for the summer. So what I'm feeling like is I should go buy maybe a designer little mini bag to put in my rattan tote. There you go. I mean, it makes sense to me, right? We've linked all the bags Dawn showed us. Just head over to our website. And oh, yes, as you may have noticed, I got so excited. I started shopping literally, well, not during the interview, but like right after I bought this tote. I will tell you, though, it costs more than $30. I know we kind of checked that. It, I think it depends on when you buy it and your shipping costs and all that, yada, yada. Anyway, I don't regret it. I have no.